Helps when you unmute your mic. Hello, folks. Getting set up here. Hello, Draconic Rose. <sighs> Run a little behind, not quite there mentally. Still haven't taken pills today, speaking of. So we'll get up, get these ready, and get on that once uh, everything's loading. tweaker and I want apples this will be at harvest crop? yes I'm looking for blockheads yes good good boss faithful and modded there all that good Let's go.
there. That's better. I had a cough. Helicad's going to be bringing me some coffee in a minute here. We're going to be really raring to go. That we had a version of controlling them. This is not. You? It's 1.11.2. Darn it. <sighs> I really gotta find a good pack that actually is on the latest version of Minecraft. That would be wonderful. But I just can't find one that's like actually progression focused that isn't basically a redo of Kappa mode. Yes. Go, no. Players? Yep. No. List players. Oh. Adds player in. That's like why I use inventory tweaks. Oh, quark keybinds. Let's try that. Let's try using quarks then. Off the inventory tweaks one. On flicks. Thanks for the follow, Obo Reed. Appreciate it. That way up there. Eh. Hello, Cooper. Open. Uh, for that. Now that tosses thing. Could use J. Rolls con. Also. Up, which N M better builders now. Dead. Hopefully that'll end up working out. Oh, yeah. Take very long. There should be a countdown, Cooper, down below the stream that shows the, in your time, the countdown to the next uh, stream and what my schedule is in uh, in your time. Uh, aim. Key rebelled. Yes, just realistic from work, huh? Why not? What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Creating new world. went relatively quickly. All right, we got our one probe readme and our astral sorcery journal. Start with just discovery unlocked. Um, pretty much tells you about, you know, marble and making bricks. Marble. Um, and then how to start making things like the luminous crafting table, which you need to get marble for. And that gets you into the game because that gets you, you know, aquamarines and yeah it's a good book 
worth it when you're getting deep into astral sorcery or even when you're just getting started with astral or player models. Okay, that's terrifying. Some of these. The uh, female models are weird. Random extra. <laughs> I could be a wolf. No. We're not gonna mess with it right now. Uh, let's bust. Progression of ages. Uh, a shop. All right. So fairly simple quest book. Fires, age fairies, age elves, dwarves, drow, demons, celestial spirits. Okay. So as we progress, we'll get access to new things in the shop. That's kind of cool. So I guess uh, step one, Age of the Fairies, get a wooden knife. Okay. What the heck? That, that pig is weird. <laughs> Auto jump. I want... Oh yeah. Or excavation. Don't seem to do... Don't seem... Check both further. Nope. Have neither. Great. We have tinkers. No. Huh. A pack without tinky tinkers. Why would it take more convincing than that, Sandarva? It's a fictional world. That you've woken up in. Tinkers. Do you have silence? No. Huh. What am I supposed to do for early tools? Minecraft tools? Astral Sorcery does have tools, but that's not exactly, like, first thing tools. It is a magic pack. I'm not sure why that means it wouldn't have Tinkers or Silence Gems. Those aren't exactly tech mods. stone pickaxe available. Interesting. If I want pickaxes at all, I think I have to buy them. Anyway. Mainly wanted an axe so that I could chop trees. Slightly fat. Oh yeah, Dakuvian. I'm not a big fan of it myself, so... Of them, I should say. I think I want to add fast leaf decay to this mod. But, then again, maybe there's a sickle or something? No sickle, no scythe. Anyway. Hi. Ooh, 
Oof. What a knife get. Age of Elves is next. Battle the Apothecary. Okay. Get into that. Age of Fairies quest line. Step one. Collect bark. Receive fairy dust. Bark is made by breaking a log with... Okay. No flint, no iron, no problem. Well, we'll go collect bark and then find out what the rest are. Fairy dust. Yeah. I can't break leaves, I can't start a fire, and I can't even harvest grass. Make wooden shears and a fire starter. Huh. Make a pyre. Area of effect spells. Natural arts. Have that book? Not yet. Arch from Roots 2 is, uh, well, takes a bit. Takes a bit of doing. So we that to make a birch bark tome. Oak bark for nothing direct. Interesting. Macery to required herbs, sparks, and other ingredients are crushed with these tools to make spell dust. Or in pestle. Alright. And then collect all the herbs. Good luck. Go find them. Yeah, this is just a, your basic roots walkthrough so far. Kind of cool. Glad that exists. Fire. Any herb charcoal stuff okay. like we're gonna need to do some uh, traveling over land to find the various herbs I think I don't actually have much of any experience with roots oh here we go fairy books birch bark we turn in three birch bark tomes and we get the Book of Herb Lord, Book of Spellcraft, and Book of Natural Arts. Neat. We can also trade Wild Root for our choice of sapling. Nebulous Hearts for an Elytra. We'll get right on that. <laughs> and Wild Root for Fairy Dust. Interesting uh, setup. Kind of enjoying this. Hello, Draconic Rose. Okay, so let's see what we can do for books. We're going to need a number of them. Dark tomes. Oh, those just require dark and leather. Do for leather. Rabbit hide, werewolf fur, blood infuser. Blood Magic Alchemy. Okay. Metal Apothecary requires Spirit Herb from Roots. Cute! Okay. So, I think that I just need to wander and find herbs is like the most important thing that I can do. Take this with us. And uh, off we go. Adventure! Oh, I 
guess not just herbs. It'd also be very useful to find. Can you flowers? Have easy access to a bag or backpack. Ooh, loot bags. Cool. Wearable, the wearable backpacks mod. Not used to seeing that one. Leather, white wool, wild root. Darn. So no, we don't have easy access to anything. Break the top of the wall. Flowers, I guess. <laughs> Can't be wanting for Batania flowers. Forest biome. Fortunately, nighttime I should probably. All flowers need shears. Okay. Now we have shears. This is mostly for fun. This may end up being a uh, server pack at some point, but I'm already betting against it due to the exploration heavy early focus. Apple. Huh. <laughs> well, I am going to need some iron at some point if I can't make my own uh, um, pickaxe that way. I can't make a stone pickaxe. How the heck do I even get my hand on iron? Oh. Wouldn't any other vanilla pick? Oh, the astral sorcery. Pick and rock. Deepest reaches, the intense heat and pressure form incredibly rare and fragile crystals. Each have their own unique properties, and they seem to take in starlight with unusual. Ah, okay. So I can't even really do mining yet. Yeah, there are no pickaxe recipes from anything remotely normal. Alright, 
Then we spend the night researching. Sample, where do I get those? around grassy biomes to find an old abandoned hut. Get the one way to get them. Get your uh books. And yeah, that's pretty much all the info they give us on the books. Look at that. On how to get started. Hmm. Like regular shears. Okay. Going to need to make the probe itself at some point. Way down below. Interesting. Natural pledge. Exploration packs are fine, but they're really hard on servers because of the constant terrain generation and the way you uh, um, are always swelling the size of the file. As a small focus service ex server experience, it's one thing, but we've had up of upwards of 50 players on the patron server before. Meaning anything that requires roving around the terrain a significant amount to be not great for a server experience with without it being a more focused group, you know? Actually less damage than the knife. Or is it? I don't know what the... That's weird. What is the 2.4? What is the 1. Points? Oh! Speed! I gotcha. Heck of a lot, huh? Yep. But sand, for that matter, besides glass. And 
nothing. Well, we're going to use it for Ammonite, but we're not at that point yet. Sand is going to get a lot more use than the gravel. But neither are things that we need in large quantities now because, uh, anchors. Hello. Ah, we need three to make a sapling. Back to this. Well, why, why would I want the fire starter? really have a great reason to make one right now. Pardon me. There. Now we'll be able to find our way back to that. Now we can get the heck away from it. Fizzled armor. Sure, why not? Weak sorting is a lot less efficient than pork. I don't know what's going on over there, but we're going to go find out. Cheeps. And my world got a lot safer. 
Wow, these wooden shears are amazing at shearing sheep. Oh, a dragon happened over there. That explains a lot. is though this is from ice and fire oh this is like a dragon horde three books care that I exist? He doesn't seem to at the moment. Ow, dragon saw me. Apparently he does care. <laughs> That's a lot of coal.
death point. Um, well, managed to lead the dragon well away from everything. So, uh, back to looting a tord, I guess. Uh-oh. Load some more. Doggy garden. Flowers really need the white as like the guarding one rest we're going to toss for now, and we'll go searching for them when we need them. Some more snackage going. Desperate enough to eat raw cotton. So in this case, we're desperate for inventory space, not for uh, sustenance. Diamonds. This is a good lucrative early find. I'm not exactly in great shape because, you know, we can't actually make a pickaxe out of these diamonds or anything like that. Why? Cooper. Got an entire world here to uh, exploit. Oops. I think we're good on gold for a bit. I think I can probably kill those deer to get some leather. remember correctly. Find out. Oh. 
dann. Ach, warten. Yep, they do drop leather. Great. Okay. Um. go damn now I can hand that in for the books that we need seems like a nice big large flat grassy area might be worth setting up here got some cool stuff nearby a couple of different biomes And we're hitting the point where we really need some storage. So. Yay. Books. Books are get. Alright, so Book of Herb Lore. Items contain the ancient art of Herb Lord, based on a list of the great mystical herbs, their properties, and a description of their synthesis under the moonlight. Interesting. So, it's raw, dried in dead form of grass, hollow substance has none of the life it previously had. Okay. Hammers. Able to crush some materials into dust. Fire starter. Lighting fires or igniting the pyre. Thing. Circles of mossy standing stones may be found. There are small markings on the ground within the circle. Four smaller marks and a central symbol. Grow one plant on the central root and four other plants on the smaller marking and a wholly new plant may be grown. Okay. Rune stone. So we need to find a moonlight circle. Can't build our own. That's an issue. Alright, so we need to go find one of these moonlight circles. Circle of birch and oak about a small pond. That is a fairy circle. That's where fairies spawn. Where we get our fairy dust if we were, you know, killing things for fairy dust. But we don't have to kill things for fairy dust. Standing stones. Fine. Ordinary rune stone capped with a block of chiseled rune stone. When these stones are necessary, the specific standing stones are required and their sizes will be listed in this book. Different rituals. Okay. Spellcraft. Herb pouch, staff, ooh, herbal pouch. Bunch of different spells. One of the four slots in the staff. Mortar and pestle is used to create petal dust and a certain combination of items. Then the dust is imbued into the staff, binding the currently selected slot of the staff to that spell. 
after a spell has been imbued, must be provided reagents via herbal powder within pouches from the caster's inventory. Okay, all right. So the big issue seems to come down to the fact that if we want to make wild root or anything like that, we need one of these um, moonlight circles. Mossy standing stones, small markings on the ground within the circle, four smaller marks, and a central symbol. We don't have a good method of creating our own rune stone. All right. Yeah, we need to uh, we need to adventure until we find one of those. Think you pass one on your way back to your grave on the other side of this plane. Well, I know that there's an astral sorcery thing there. Anyway, I'm to explore. Thing to check out there, a thing to check out here. Up at the Crank your render distance up, hit auto map, and uh, wait a little while. You might need to wait a little while for the render distance to fill in all the way too. Thirty-two chunks is quite the quite the range. Like another dragon horde. What is that? I almost missed this. Dream Hills. Okay. Weird. EOI stands for point of interest, by the way. AKA, what, uh, that spot over there, what I'd like to check out. Yes, I love the uh, ambient sounds mod. Not that I can ever remember the name of it. Forcing my computer to do a lot of world gen at the moment. May or may not have it tick to morning. There we go. Before the zombies start hitting me. Uh, 
Uh oh. Golems. More than one of them, too. This is the problem with cranking your render distance up to 32. I don't actually have planks on hand. Hippogriff or a griffin or something? Weird. I can't right click with uh, my axe, that's bad. Kill him with the uh, pickaxe to get the uh, core. Ow. Stop that. Need two helmets. Whoops. Nope. Control regen is not fast enough. Darn it, more hunger. Really hoping I'd get out of it without hunger on the last bit. Oh, hey, I got the motive core anyway. Nice. Needed for the codex. And I believe you can make the codex into a thing? Eh, whatever. We got archaic blocks and a mo and motive cores. We're golden. <sighs> yeah, papatos. Lots of iron. 
Bucket, ahoy! Long in there. Long in here. All right. Now that we've been letting things uh, render for a while, the game really does look pretty good when you've got your render distance cranked up. But that uh, FPS that you get with that. Maybe it's less bad if you're on a, a server, but it's pretty bad right now. All right, so we should be able to click uh, auto map missing. Fill in anything that's not done yet. Auto map all. Yeah, as you can see, you can explore a giant area just by standing still this way. And you can crank your uh, rendering back down to something, you know, more reasonable. That won't destroy your machine. Alright, so, got another couple of things to check out out here. Some of these are astral sorcery, some of them are evil craft. We're hoping that one of them is root. Preferably a closer one. Like it might be a town? Definitely something to check out. That might be surface. Can't really tell orange from green. Oh, cool. Village. Not seeing anything that looks like a Stonehenge style construction, but that would also be relatively difficult to see on a map like this. Top down, you know? So. We're going to head off adventuring after we heal up a bit. Oh, hey, wait. There. there. Weird pool of something. Alright. Um, before we go any further. Decent uh, food going. And, uh... I need to hit the restroom real quick. There. Claimed this plane in the name of Antonia. Be right back, folks.
That's better. Uh, whoops. Okay. So, water so that we can make a farm. gotten two buckets. Oh well. Whoops. really do love C418's Minecraft music. It is so peaceful. Even when I am clang clang clanging around. I didn't realize I still had my primary uh, capture up. Sorry about that. A little nicer when it's on the game capture. So let's uh, grow some potatoes, some sugar canes, and some wheat. Never a bad thing. Uh, I remember tomato being used for some amazing food. Got a really great early food make a strawberry we can start making strawberry salads out of it certainly has value strawberry yogurt jelly ice cream strawberry juice chocolate strawberry yeah fruit salads can actually become strawberry salads pretty easily or just strawberries can get us to our strawberry salads that is a useful early crop for lots of. Boy, that gets annoying. <laughs> All right, what can I do with manuscripts? I can make the jerry for ice and fire. Do that. Fantastic beasts. Introduction. Oh god, that font is terrible. Ah, uh, silver can be found at the same layers gold can be found. Smelted into ingot. Ingots does extra damage to undead. Sapphire ore, randomly in snowy biomes, traded with snow villagers, gold or silver can be stored in placeable piles like so. The way to obtain more information about the magic world is to research other writers' works. A lectern. A lectern has been placed, can be act interacted with by right-clicking on it. 
inside will have three slots. Leftmost isn't put. You know what? Hang on. I gotta find my glasses. Want with this right now? Ask Apollo. Might know where they are. All right. Lectern. Well, we've got extra books, so why not? Dragon meal. Wait. Wait. I can tame a dragon. That is exciting too. Lamb kebabs. Bell pepper. Wait. Shepherd's pie. Um. Sausage with spice and salt. Not bad. Oh, but Yorkshire pudding is kind of a mess early on. I really love Harvest Craft. Yeah, we're just gonna eat the mutton for now. Need foods now. do anything with the bestiary so the manuscripts are like all the extras are just extra nope Paolo has no idea where my uh, glasses are lovely no one to blame but me all right one lectern uh, what do I do just throw a book in there No. Reread that section. Oh, hey, there you go. I do have three slots leftmost for a bestiary, bottom for manuscripts, and the rightmost for the output. So, there is a use for more manuscripts. You just have to actually, like, read the thing. Every manuscript, a new index will appear in the bestiary, and the new pages can be information about mythical creatures, different types of people, informative crafting guides, and even basic alchemy. I like so. That is an adorable mechanic, and I love it. Nom, 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 nom. But oh, we have Psy. Interesting. Okay, that's adorable. You can tap X and uh, have it uh, bring up your entire inventory as hot bars. I don't know what but what uh, mod adds that, but I like it. We need more bones later.
now, though, it doesn't look like there's much that we can do get ma to maximize their output besides, you know, getting the Starlight Infuser, which is not an early game thing. Well, I think part of the problem is the uh, resolution that I'm playing in. Like, ice drink. Like, if I were to change the video settings to auto, it's a lot more readable at auto. You know? But auto breaks a lot of other, uh, GUIs. Yes. Alright, so yeah, we can totally get dragons. Fantastic. But yeah, we're just gonna bone me out the quick and cheap way. Crank up our strawberry production. There'll be plenty more skeletons to kill in time. what it's done there. <laughs> so, cutting board. I need a stick. Get uh, cooking blockheads going soon. There we go. Right. So, let's go see if we can find one of these uh, things that we need, you know? All right. Pick a direction, folks. North, south, east, west. We'll head that way first. North, west, east. Lovely. <laughs> and on the Rune for there's no good 
description of where to find them. Well, the only direction we know not to travel is south. East looks like it's got the least stuff immediately, mostly just that village. West has that cool big thing. We're going to go that way. Could have brought an extra bed with me. Okay, that's a solvable issue. I'll also see if I can figure out what deers eat. No crafting table on a stick. Bad face. On your right hand, the pillars. Oh, it's not at all flat, and it's not, it's not very mossy. That's what threw me off. You're trying to point me here. I see. That's not helpful. And part of it's apparently intersecting with the water. Yeah, th this isn't going to work for us at all. But I'll take the beetroot. And the carrot. is in a, I mean, that might be the world gen for that uh, item kicking in, but it's also effectively useless. Surface lava there. Cool. Definitely another dragon horde. negative 113. It doesn't actually go that. There we go. Whoops. Nope, that was the wrong one. Maybe it wasn't. Where am I? That's the one.
earned the achievement to my eye. No idea why. Let's find out. Wait, what's that? Okay, draw forth the blood of the gods. Never mind. Looked like it might be like a hang glider or something. That would be amazing, Zendarva. Learn to fart. Wow. Thank you for that. Oh, craft. Oh, there's a Gorging in there. All right, then. Good to know. Darn. Gorgon around here somewhere, anyway. Otherwise, I don't know what this temple's for. Bit of a second layer to it. Good try going up. Shield. Like any of that. <laughs> hey then. Maybe we come back when we're protected by proper spells and actually have real equipment before we try taking on a freaking Gorgon. Was pretty amazing, wasn't it, Dio? Hey, Saf. Good to see you here. Apparently, I must be getting, uh, um, well, no, it, it's not that bad. Its eyes glowed for about a second before it killed me. So, I can, if I, uh, learn the tell, I can look away or hide behind a shield or something. Alone, dragon. I don't want to play. Not even the only dragon in the sky. There's another one to my left. Maybe it was that hippogriff.
crud. Some of my stuff fell down inside. Back to Chronic Rose. Checking the coast for some gravel. Not seeing any though. Another environmental accumulator, okay. can't easily craft the flint. I have to... Punch it and get lucky. Hate that mechanic. Really do. me the bow, but not flint. the laughter and darn it I didn't get it done fast enough my stuff vanished <sighs> oh well <laughs> oh, it was single use. If I'd known it was going to be single use, maybe I wouldn't have done that.
Was it actually AoE? That'd be hilarious. a way to ungorgonify things. I'm really hoping to get some, like, treasure out of this. No? Big old place like this? Who knows? Maybe there's more to it that I haven't seen yet. It's definitely possible to use a silk touch pick on them. The question is, will it do anything? That answer is probably not. There goes a full suit of iron armor. Sad face. Especially with how difficult they make it to get down there, you know? Like, you've got to figure out how to do the whole... There's like a whole block puzzle involved in act down there. And then you just have Gorgon. That's it. Singly, singular. Gotta be some treasure. Gotta find it. Not so sure. This looks like it's, you know, just stone underneath. I guess the skulls are good, uh, bone meal. Dark Sam, thanks for hosting and bringing someone to watch with you. Hello, hello. I am disappointed. The place seemed so cool that it wasn't actually the Gorgon wasn't actually guarding any treasure. Oh well. Three sticky pistons and, uh, such. Lock of redstone. Quite the, uh, redstone puzzle under here, actually. That's interesting. Had one before, haven't used it in a long time, that's all. So not entirely new, but not entirely old either. My box. Okay.
So the treasure here is actually like in the mechanisms that are used that they use to make the place, not uh, any sort of reward for killing the gorgon. That's kind of interesting. Ow. Wonder if I can come back and kill more gorgons here. Steel pick, age the elves. All right, so we can get an mana steel pick as our first one. By the looks of it, get to age of the elves. We need the apothecary. I thought it looked like night. Here, though. style on that there surface day that's all I need Erg. good map um okay so the ring of stones just shows up as dots like that any way to search particular material either. Ugh. Need to find one of those that doesn't intersect with a river. That basically ruins it. It does. Now, this, Draconic Rose, this is why exploration type stuff bothers me. Because I have to find a particular bit of world gen that isn't being destroyed by other world gen.
it there from here, we can cross that peel. Is our list. with X. I think. Useless. Oh, dragon. This POI is definitely astral related. And we're going to need a good bit of this uh, marble at some point. Plus, there is treasure underneath here, if I remember correctly. Oh. Okay, so we can't actually uh, do some of the things I thought I could do. But I am going to need those skulls later. Someday we'll know. Today is not that day. Tomorrow's not looking good either.
need at least an iron pickaxe to be able to harvest the marble. That sucks. Well, we can break our way in for the uh, treasure anyway. the journal with me to like is that how that works or do the will I know that in the future without needing it mm. hard to know loading crystal need a diamond pickaxe okay back to that again some other day just plant beets on their own the way you do like carrots and potatoes otherwise I'm gonna be pretty sad stop at home doing this drop off a bunch of things maybe make some more iron armor if I have to. Meh. I'd almost rather just go naked than wear gold armor. Waste. So low defense and such high material cost. Not worth it. to make the various herbs. Wild root is poppy. Low birch oak oak leaf. Basically spruce. Okay. Dandelions. Guineas. That's lilac. Oh. Right, don't forget the interior bit, potato. So, we actually can't do some of this until I gather a significant amount of uh, proper flowers and such anyway. 
spot. Let's at least go see if that is or not. We'll at least know if we should move over there. Those bushes are just stand-ins for... Do I need the shears for those as well? Okay, they give a lot more rose bread? Yeah. Sorry, sudden onset sneezing. Another forked up on a river circle. Crap. I wonder if it's the quark natural world gen that's causing the problem. And if I should try it with... Uh... Because this, 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 this don't work. Let's find out if it's, uh, the fact that I used the natural style world again. Or the realistic style. Otherwise, this pack is definitely right out. Needing to both find a specific world gen structure and have it not be destroyed by a river. Just by sheer luck. Give this a minute while it uh, renders. I'm going to go and uh, get myself a drink. Be right back.
<clears throat> Alrighty. <laughs> ah, look, right there. I don't think I can even blame the pack for this so much as just roots. Oh no. The crap? Okay, that was just me misinterpreting things, I guess? Yeah. That's just the stand? It is. Okay. Head for that one in yellow. Hope that that's what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. What is that? Guess we're about to find out. Maybe it is, but it's definitely borked again. Oh, look, there's a dragon there, yay. understand this at all. There's supposed to be markings on the ground, aren't there? There's nothing that's showing up. Yeah, that's got like a weird swirl to it. It kind of is always there. As long as there's an actual block there. That's got a little dot to it. And do these only appear when you have a uh, world gen, or can it can you build your own? That's the part I'm not getting here. Well, one of many parts I'm not getting here. And the footprints aren't helping. Ah. <laughs> uh...
Um, okay. Off stone, not multi. Well, he ought to include that information in the uh, manual, then. Or she. They. Seriously, what the heck is that of the structure, you know? <laughs> okay, I think I understand that idea. None of this makes any sense at all. I don't get it. Maybe the wiki will have some information. Roots even have a wiki? There's the official Feed the Beast wiki, but not much else. Roots GitHub does not have a wiki. Welcome to the Roots Wiki. Use the tablet. Really? What tablet? Circles of mossy standing stones may be found. That's all they give. There are four. There are small markings on the ground within the circle. Four smaller marks and a central symbol. This is frustrating. If you can find something, Cooper, go for it. But not seeing much purpose to like. It's making itself very hard to work with. For no good reason. They only show up in moonlight. Wow. I was having a pretty good day, Minwolf. 
but getting pretty frustrated at this point trying to check out this Age of Magic pack. Now we're going to see if it's possible for us to build our own uh, moonlit circle, because if it's not, then that basically puts you at the mercy of world gen, and that's no fun. Yeah, if you can't, uh, if you have to find one, and the world gen is very non-precise and, uh, breaks half the time. Like, I found, what, three of these that were broken in the first world we made, and this is the first one we found in this world, so if, uh, three out of four times it's broken, then, ugh, that's a problem. Like, this is the nicest we've seen so far. Even it is kind of borked. Yeah, should. Yes. But the problem is that it's ta- uh, I mean, I've already discussed the problem. You know the problem. Well, let me reiterate, 75% of these that you find are broken and have no markings that you can reasonably access, and you can't build your own. And the markings just show up as these slightly dark markings on the ground. I mean, I'm waiting for the they show up in moonlight part to happen. And then the fact that this Age of Magic pack, which I thought was going to be cool, requires you to start with roots, you know? Means that pretty much it's not for me. Because differentiating that from a footprint sucks. The moonlight part was taken away. Wonderful. Well, I can't place down uh, um, marble if I need to grow wild root on them. Like, it's telling me, um, grow a plant on the central ruin and four other plants on the smaller markings, and a wholly new plant may be grown. And that's required to get anywhere with roots. 
That doesn't work out. Yeah. not flawless it's almost entirely flaws <laughs> there's no portion of it that isn't flawed i mean let me show you why we even uh um started that second world to go look Check out this circle. I mean, there's the central mark, right? Also, I can't get marble in this pack, uh, Dio, until, uh... I have progressed beyond the start, which requires roots. That's been three of the four circles that we found so far in a world this size, trying to look for the little dots, you know? If they leveled the ground where they spawned, maybe. But it's a really poorly done mechanic, the way it currently is. Well, let's see if we can find a way to manipulate it to be less suck. Yes. Actually, maybe we're not entirely out of luck here. Die. Oh. I get bone shovel. Oh, screw off, Bob Laundry. We're not playing the game legit here. We're just trying to test something. Got a problem with it? Go watch someone else. No one, lo no one wants to listen to you uh, trying to yell, Cheater, cheater! Come on! Do, do you not even understand what's going on? Do you need it spelled out in more detail? We're not trying to play through legit here. We're testing out a pack. God. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Got no patience for idiocy. Not when I'm already dealing with one set of idiocy. Congratulations, you followed after I banned you from chat. 
Don't, we don't do song requests here. Sorry. Hey, look. I'm cheating again. So this it okay so this is uh what we needed to know you can't build your own but you can fix anyone that you do find by flattening the area I do not, and I explained that. And now I'm ignoring requests. To, uh, yeah. I wouldn't exactly call this a circle, but it is a, uh, if you can find one, you can get access to the marks that re are required for progression. If you're willing to terraform the area to make it happen. Well, that's frustrating and annoying, but that's the way the mod is set up, and this pack is set up to require this mod. Sorry for delays like that. Folks, I have to do my own cat moderation today. And as usual, when I've got a camera, everybody's going on about how fat I am. Presumably because insulting others makes them feel better about their sad, sorry existence. I don't know. I kind of get it. I used to be that way. Life used to suck so much that uh, some of my best enjoyment came out of trying to make other people feel awful. I didn't really understand that that's what I was doing at the time. I mean, I'm fat. I know I am. I am extraordinarily overweight, 
and that's something that I'm working on. I don't deny that. I also don't have a lot of patience for people that come in here to um, try to trick me into playing songs that are just going to insult me. And then, you know, yell the insults when I won't play the song. Well, they certainly made these guys, uh, common. the mod maker for that much? Or the mod pack maker? <laughs> the nano sabers? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that, Zandarva. All I know is that uh, those guys are spawning frequently, and usually they don't. I thought that um, spawn rate was configurable. I know that they're not, uh, that you have to configure things properly to have the ancient motive core show up from every single one you kill. Anyway, I hope you like uh, digging in this pack, if you're going to play this pack. because it's on a cliffside. So, let's start there and hope that we get all of them. Oh, yep, yeah, that's all four, all five. Okay, great. to build this into a decent base, right? So, do I need to leave those uh, cobblestone pillars in place? Alright, turn that off. hoping for some regular stone. Uh, it's apparently 
Granite isn't stone enough for you to make a uh, stone shovel out of. <laughs> well, let's find out if that disappears when I mine this. Nope. So those really just show up around the special spots, huh? They don't create them. All they do is let you know that one's around. Interesting. Can do. All right. We put water right next to here, then we'll be able, then we'll have everything covered. I don't know when Pam's added maple syrup, but I'm pretty happy it did. Maybe even lower down. Well, yeah, sure. I'll find it eventually if I keep going underneath the granite. Don't care. That'll take too long. Does it matter? Big mate. However, oh, assuming you're not uh, a troll. I'm a little on the defensive. There have been a lot of trolls today, so I apologize for acting defensively when you ask. Uh, I am currently transitioning. Trans feminine. Signed masculine at birth and... Now, no longer running on testosterone. Maybe two tree layers deeper. Oh. Like, 
I should make the platform thicker? I intend to. Oh, yeah, I could, but I don't want to, like, I could take this down to, this level would be the lowest that is, would have the natural things on them, you know, or I can go as low as I like, as long as it's the top layer in the column. Like, if I wait a moment for those footprints to disappear, I can make some over here to make them disappear faster. You can see that that is currently there, that little spot. If I put they're up there, the spot's no longer there. It's like ray cast straight down from above. So, wherever I want it, I need to make a flat platform. It's just a matter of, do I want to fill in a bunch or dig a bunch? Yeah, but you actually actively deal with your fam uh, feelings and have some uh, sense of empathy, Draconic Rose. So, yeah. Second bed is uh, still over at the Astral uh, Temple. I need to make another one for that spot. Though the long-term plan is actually just to move there. Since as far as I'm aware, this is like the world gen structure that we have to like be at this structure specifically. We'll go to here. I wish I had better tools for all this. It'd be a pain in the butt with, uh, Crappy early tools.
Well, unfortunately, we're not able to get any better until we get deeper into the pack. But we're not going to be doing, like, the full terraforming treatment either right now. There's really great back support if I actually like lean on it and make use of it. <laughs> Trying to empty out my inventory a little. I'm gonna want to do this with this dirt eventually, fill everything in beneath, you know? here. Builders want more. Hello, cat's home. Fostering a new cat. There was a, uh, online that somebody had to get rid of and we made we got a hold of our local no-kill shelter and volunteered to foster it if we could take it in and you know they cover the vet treatments and stuff so she's just getting back from taking new cat to the vet or things terrified right now because it's been through a couple of different houses lately it takes a long time to get used to a new space and new people but hopefully the cat checks out well and we can, you know, bring it downstairs to our uh, little pod. 
We don't introduce a foster into the group until after um, the vet says that the new cat's healthy. Gotta protect our little flute. Alright. Don't have... Saplings on hand. Oh, I do have another hand. That or I brought that, this one with me. One or the other. Let's go and get our hands, get some of our stuff, start moving it, plant some trees, all that sort of thing. Apparently, I need to grow the, grow the plants during moonlight, so I guess we're waiting for nightfall to be able to do everything I want to do. Get out of here. have enough iron for another bucket. That's okay. Five somehow. Oh, huh, I didn't get any strawberry seeds? Thought I would. I don't know how well that, how much that, um, garage door sound comes through. Dirt here, too. We're going to, Cooper. Thank you for the reminder. Good to know. Thanks for the info. Eat poppy potato. I have all of my stuff over there. Yep. Harmony. 
All right, just about time to wrap up here. I'm trying to actually get into the schedule of uh, ending around uh, four o'clock. But we will get back home safely before we do that. Make it into the next day. Thanks for joining me, folks. We're going to be playing more of Age of Magic throughout the week. This Saturday, we're going to be launching a patron and subscriber server for Age of Engineering, which you can see my prior streams on. Now, that's going to be turning into a YouTube series rather than a set of live streams. Don't worry. I will be producing more Age of Engineering content over time. I don't have any food on my bar. Oh well, so much for safety. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed today's stream. Be back at um, 1 p.m. tomorrow. With more, you can find a countdown and my full schedule below. Countdown actually works to your local time as well. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time. Really like to uh, that bed. I have to make this death run anymore. Oh, good. We made it, and there's nothing around. Fantastic. Winning. See you later. <laughs>